Tonight, anger boiling in Brazil, a symptom of a contentious presidential election. Current President Jair Bolsonaro's supporters unwilling to accept his narrow but decisive defeat. In the days following his loss to opponent Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva on Sunday, Bolsonaro fell quiet while his supporters grew louder. Amid the unrest, almost two days after his election loss, Bolsonaro finally addressed the nation. Sempre fui rotulado como antidemocrático e, ao contrário dos meus acusadores, sempre joguei dentro das quatro linhas da Constituição. Justice telling is what Bolsonaro did not say. While his chief of staff said they would begin the transition of power, Bolsonaro never formally conceded, he never recognized his opponent's victory, and he said the protesters are right but should remain peaceful. I think he is saying these kinds of things, just like Trump did, in order to send messages to his supporters that he still loves them. If you recall the comment that uh, Donald Trump made on uh, January 6th when he asked him to go home. Aqui não é caminhoneiro, aqui é o Brasil. Protesters carrying flags bearing Bolsonaro's face blocked roads. They blocked highways, facing off with police on roads leading to Sao Paulo Airport, even causing flight delays, squeezing the supply to and from major cities in Brazil. How long the protest Test will persist is not clear, but the impact is, creating an uphill battle for the Silva as he readies to assume power. With such a divided country, what is Lula's agenda moving forward? I think he's going to spend a lot of time in the international arena working on climate change, defending the Amazon, uh, ending deforestation. He'll also have to tackle a very complicated economic situation because of inflation and other problems in the country.